What's up, everybody? Cyanix Jade here, and we are back again for another Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I always mess up the name, so I was very conscious that time not to. Last time, we made it to room 250? 250. That's what we made it to. Today, we're going to make it to 300. If I can do it quick enough, we'll go beyond. It just depends what it looks like. Oh, so, last time we got scared by the thing that... Um, preying on the minds of mental people. We saw some pretty weird stuff. So, let's continue where we left off. We weren't technically in the safe room. It put us back in the... If you watched the last episode, which if you didn't, I will link it in the description. If you watched the last episode, the room we ended in that was the safe room was not this. It was the one that gave me all the cute little jump scares with the skeletons and the little boo ghosts and everything. Okay, but we're going to see what happens this time. Also, sun right in my eyeballs, so it's hard for me to see darkness, but here we go. I just realized that I never have a mentor figure, had a mentor figure, trial, or a leaving home scene. That means the story isn't following the archetypes to make me a traditional hero, which means I can be killed off. Well, it was nice for a little while, at least, because remember the guy thought he was, like, the main character of the horror show, but he wasn't. So, we have a backstory, because we're um, a history buff, remember? If you watched the first episode, which if you haven't watched it, go watch that. Um, we explore the mansion because we're curious about the history of it. So maybe we are the main hero, except I don't feel so heroic, <laughs> screaming all the time. Also, I tried to add a compressor to my mic a little bit because I kind of probably busted y'all's ears in the last video at one point. I'm really sorry about that. I'm gonna try not to do that this time. No promises, but we're gonna try. But my heart... I'm playing... I'm recording these episodes back to back, so I literally just got done with the other one. So my heart's still recovering from being chased. Oh my gosh! Hmm. He's cute! He looks like a little grape cluster, I think. I love their little roar they make. It's so cute. Roar! That's exactly what it sounds like. Alright, room 260. 40 to go before we are back in our safe haven and can curl up in a fetal position and cry. Day two, food supply depleted, water supply at 30%, mental health deteriorating, leaving notes behind to help others and mark where I've been. So, mental health, that plays into the thing chasing us because it preys on the mentally weak. Those with a weak mental will. And the favorite room of all time. How have you been, Mr. Snake Room? Left? Nope. Wait, is there a note on the end of that? Yes, there is. I will get it. Day three, hallucinations are manifesting at increasing intervals. The cause is probably sleep deprivation or a gas that is being pumped into the rooms. I have not yet been injured, so I don't think that the cause is a brain injury or a blood clot. Well, if you haven't hit your head, I don't know why you would think it is either of those. I don't know, I guess a blood clot. You don't have to hit your head to get one of those, but. If you're young and healthy, chances are very slim of having a blood clot. Ooh, bones. I can't interact with him. I don't like that picture. It makes me feel scared. Another note for me. Day four, I'm starting to lose track of time. The battery on my phone became very low, so I delegated to save it in case I find an exit. Okay. <gasps> Is this it? Am I dying? Is this another monster? We're only on 271. That was wrong, so I have to go again. Oh, is this something I have to go in the right order? That was correct. So right. Right. Okay, so that was wrong. So I'm assuming we start over every time. Right. Right. Let's try straight. Straight. Right, right, straight. Okay. Right, right, straight, no, <laughs> right, 
Right. Straight. Left. Door. I'm good at puzzles. Why'd the music change? Why'd the music change? I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh no, there's clicking. Remember? Something's chasing me. Something is definitely chasing me. Go! This person needs to create more. Oh, it's the holes. It's the clickety clackety with the holes in the ceiling. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Remember in like the first episode, I was like, mm, I don't really scream when I'm scared. My eyes just get wide and I jump. But I don't like scream when I'm scared. You just see my face. I see my eyes get really wide and I like jumping. You know what? I was incorrect. We're gonna get to 300. We're gonna get to 300 and it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be just fine. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be safe and beautiful. Beautiful babies, yes. Okay. Alright. That was enough info. We're gonna continue. Day five. I can't remember. Why did I come here? Was there even a, ever a purpose? I believe death is steadily approaching me now. The hallucinations can hurt me. I'm out of provisions and I'm having sudden violent heart palpitations. Me too, buddy. You are not the only one. My heart. My heart is suffering from this game. <laughs> I just gotta t keep taking breaths and thinking about beautiful babies. I don't like when there's a dark, I can't see the wall behind me or in front of me. It makes me feel like there's something waiting there and that when I get closer, it's gonna just emerge out of the darkness and make me poop myself. All right. This was such a surprise that there would be another entry, another actual entry, one I could admire. But then as suddenly as it came and left, and now you disband, your influence and inspiration will never leave me. Okay. I'm gonna try really hard not to scream when I'm scared because I don't have a mic that is capable of handling that without destroying your ears. This Bowser's castle? That's what it sounds like. This is a boss fight! I'm scared. Is something coming for me? Oh! That one! Oh! Um... Do I get weapons? Oh no, this just looks like a torture room. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts, but the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night, some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. Well, those look like puppets to me, and it's not a river that it is in. Can I pick a weapon up, please? I will stab someone with one of those. But just afterwards, he came running up to the river crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. Oh, jeez, the masks are gone. There's another something there. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied. You evil people. Years later, the children of town began to go missing, and as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. These puppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. Hmm. Strange. That key has three marks on it. I didn't really look at the key that I picked up the first time. I don't know if I had any. I feel like I didn't have any little things on it. Wait, did I come out of there? Yes, I did. What's in this one? Can I go through here now? The password's pumpkin! <gasps> ah, salad fingers! Hello. 
salad thing. Ah! What the? What is hitting me? Goodbye! I'm just... I'm out of here. What even was hitting me? There was nothing chasing me, just a puppet. With a knife in his... Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving as fast as I can. I'm not even... You're not even that scary. You're just kind of... Are you hanging from the ceiling and... Dude! No! Oh, please, goodness gracious, not the eyeball! The become a puppet to rid himself of pain, the harshness of choice, now nothing you do is your fault. Now you belong to something. You belong to me. I belong to nobody. Alright, so... I don't even know how you avoid that one. He wasn't even as scary as the the worst one was the one that had no face. That one was the worst. 316. That's the room we made it to that time. So, next video I will start back on room 300 and we'll go from there. Um, uh, this game is really cool because you would not think it would be as scary as it is. It looks so cute and innocent, but it is so deceptive. But, um, okay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If so, please like and subscribe. I put videos out every other day, and I do lots of weird things. Weird games, interesting games, artistic games. Let me know what you want to see. I would love to play games you guys recommend. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. If so, Binge watch. Go to the next video, okay? See you guys later.